You wanna make sure that your flows align, your business aligns. Make sure that it's not different from each other, right? So the good cheese in this information would be What's going on, Overcomer Nation? Uh, we're inside a few of our units in this Hampton Inn and Hilton Inn. And as you can see, these units are brand new construction, <laughs> new hotel that's being built. It's about uh, 220 units on this project. We're on the third floor right now. 50, 100, there's about four floors, uh, 50, 50 units. A piece and so what we do is we'll come in here and all the cabinets the floor the windows even exterior we'll make sure that this place is spotless because we want it to look good so when they start bringing in people to 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 stay here it's a perfect environment also a rough clean is considered a rough clean so it creates a safe environment so cleaning with construction cleanup is actually a lot more important than most people think. The problem that most people think is construction cleanup is not a trade when really it is a trade. It is a full on trade. So, you know, that's why we're a licensed contractor in order to do that type of work. It looks like on this end of the building, I put my safety glasses on. Uh, we're a little bit more complete on this end. <clears throat> So we could see actually here, the carpets installed, the tiles in. So we actually have close to a finished product here. These are some of the smaller units, but we technically have a finished product here. And you see this, uh, there's this tint on this windows. This come off, okay? And then there's actually some on the exterior. So on this, we're gonna actually have to drop off the roof for this building in order to make sure that we uh, get the film off of the actual windows. So we're all rope access certified and all that stuff. So we have all the equipment, we do all that. <clears throat> so if you're in the construction cleanup space or you're a window cleaner, whatever, pressure washer, we do all of that. So this whole site is gonna be taken care of by us. The garage is gonna be pressure washed. The interior is gonna be cleaned, um, detailed, right? Um, the windows are gonna be cleaned, okay? So we got people that come through here, they detail the unit. <clears throat> we got the window cleaning trade guy that cleans the windows. We got an exterior specialist that does the exterior of the windows. And then we got a pressure washing specialist that pressure washes the garage and the grounds and the sidewalks and all that good stuff. So it's an all-in-one trade, they all work together. And that's why when I tell you that you wanna have a few services, make sure they flow together. Like if you're a tile setter, then don't be like, okay, I'm gonna be a tile center, uh, a tile setter, and then also install like AC units, right? Because HVAC has nothing to do with tile. So you wanna make sure that your flows align, your business aligns, make sure that it's not different from each other, right? So the good cheese in this information would be, how do I get these projects, right? I'm sure you're asking yourself that right now. This is a massive project. This is a 200 unit, uh, two hotel building project, right? And so getting the projects are actually the easy part, I would say. Um, doing the projects can be a little bit of a challenge because you wanna make sure you're on their schedule. You gotta make sure that you're doing everything right. You gotta make sure you're working around the other trades. I mean, we have electricians that are working here right now, so we wanna, we gotta be able to work around everybody and everybody can work seamlessly, right? <clears throat> and if you ever come on a site like this, you need to make sure you have a hard hat, you have safety glasses. I didn't bring my safety glasses today, so I, I have sunglasses, but it makes it a little bit dark with the sunglasses, so it's no fun. Uh, make sure you have a safety vest and then you have your boots 
okay? And I always carry an additional hat with me just in case I'm gonna be talking to people and stuff so I don't have to wear my hard hat the whole time.